so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Hey! It's me, Blippi! Did you see what they were doing? Yeah! They were skiing and snowboarding! And today, you and I are gonna learn about snowboarding! Today, we are at Mountain Creek Resort in New Jersey, United States. And we are going to learn about snowboarding. <laughs> oh, hey! Hi! What's your name? I'm Hillary. Ooh, what is this place? This is a Burton Brooklyn Park. Ooh, what do you do here? This is where we teach kids three to six on a snowboard. Ooh, can I go check it out? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, come on. Whoa, this place looks like so much fun. Ooh, come here. Whoa, did you see that? Right here. Let's talk to him. What are you doing? We are teaching Gracie here how to snowboard. Hey, Gracie, can I have a high five? Oh, wow, so powerful. The strongest <laughs> high five ever. <laughs> yeah, what's that in your hand? This is called a riglet. Ooh, mm -hmm. come check it out. What does the riglet do? So we use this, it's a little retractable leash for younger kids that are just learning to snowboard. We're helping them work in balancing skills. Cool. And we can adjust the length of it so I can make it a little bit longer if I wanted to stand Daddy. out here. Oh. You can bring it in close. So what I'm doing is I'm propelling her across the snow okay. as she hits all the cool features we have here. All right. We're going to keep balance. She's doing little jumps. Cool. Are you ready to shred it? Mm -hmm. All right. Go shred. Oh. All right. All right. You check ready it for out. That bump bar? All right. We're going for the bump bar. For the middle end. For the middle end. Jump. Nice. Ooh, see this? This is a snowboard, a kid's snowboard. And see this right here? This is the riglet. This is what you use to hold to pull the child, <laughs> like you. You want to learn to snowboard? All right, here we go. Come on. Oh, awesome. Awesome grind! Oh, that was some big air! Woo! All right, now it's time for me to go snowboarding. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> this is my snowboard. Oh, it's so big. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. I can't go snowboarding in this attire. <laughs> Come on. We need our snow gear on. All right. First set of snow gear. Yeah. A pair of pants. Yeah! All right, now that I have my pants on, we need our snow boots! Whoa! <laughs> All right, let's put them on. These are awesome! <laughs> oh, 
I can't touch my sock to the snow or else it's gonna get wet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a little chilly though. <laughs> What's next? Hmm. <sighs> yeah, a blue jacket. Ooh, this looks so warm. Let me put it on. Look at me now! Ooh! My nice blue jacket, my bright orange pants, my sweet snow boots. Look down here first! Ooh! Yeah! Look at this! This is a helmet! All right! Whoa! Look at it, it's a pretty sweet helmet. Helmets are used to keep your head safe. You gotta wear a helmet. Look at this. Oh. Awesome, yeah! Some sweet goggles. Whoa, yeah! See you later, glasses. <laughs> and last but not least, some gloves. Now I can go snowboarding. All right, now we're at the ski lift. Yeah, this is where you ride it to the top of the mountain. First, you have to put on one binding on the boot. So you put in your boot right here. Then you strap it in. Make sure it's nice and tight. And here's the second strap. See, there's one, two straps. All right, here I go. It's almost my turn. is right here for two feet. All right, we have two straps too. Okay, the first strap is in, and now the second strap is in. Here we go. Let's go! The 
there's so many skis and snowboards in here. Ooh, look at this one. It's the color yellow. Whoa, this one's the color red. Oh, hey, look at this one. This one's the color blue. <laughs> All right, let's head over to my snowboard and tune it. That's where you make it really sharp and waxy, so then you can go really fast. Hey, here it is. Whoa, the first thing you have to do is take off the bindings. This is where you put your feet. <laughs> All right, so this is the top of the snowboard. Ooh, <laughs> and this is the base of the snowboard. See how there's some scratches in it? Yeah. We are gonna take those out, grind it down, and add some wax. So the first machine is this machine. This is the grinder machine. See, there's a grinder right there and a wheel that pushes it. So let me turn on the water first. All right, here we go. Alright, let me turn off the water. Whoa! Alright, it's really smooth. See? It's kind of wet from the water. So the next thing we have to do is grind the edges. Whoa! See this machine? This machine is the grinder. Wow! There's a little bit of sandpaper right there and it grinds the edges. For this machine, you need an expert. So, let's go get us an expert. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so this is Felipe. He's gonna take the snowboard and grind the edges. See ya! <laughs> Alright, so now the edges are really sharp. <laughs> we need to apply some wax. But first, let's dry off the board. Come here. Take a paper towel. Wipe it down a bit. Alright, there we go. So now I have a really cool machine to show you. Come over here. Whoa, you see this? This is a quick waxer. See, this is what applies the wax. And then back here, this is the bufferer. <laughs> so, first thing you have to do is take some wax, some blue wax, and run it right there, which is really hot. Then take the snowboard, <laughs> All right, now there's wax on the bottom. Now we need to buffer it. Here we go. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> wow, the snowboard is perfect now. So now let's set it down. Then we put the bindings back on. And now, we're ready to ride. Awesome! 
I'm just playing with a snowboarder toy in this mini terrain park. I think we should tear it up. Come on. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, that was a gnarly wipeout. <laughs> what else is around here? Ooh, look at this. It says, color your board. Ooh, look, some colored pencils. All right, first things first. Yeah, my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B L I P P I. Blippi, good job. All right, now for some color. A lot of color. One of my two favorite colors. Orange. <laughs> Ready? Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, this is gonna be an awesome board. All right, my second favorite color. Blue. Ready? All right, now for our masterpiece. Sweet! Look at it! Sweet snowboard! Wow! All right. Whoa! What do we have here? Ooh, looks like a really fun game. Looks like we have two die. A green one and a yellow one. All right. I'm gonna stand on a snowboard and then throw one of these. Let's throw the green one, okay? And whatever number it lands on, we have to put our hand there. Oh, look! It landed on the number five. All right, a number five is an indie, and it's right here. Ready? stuck that one. <laughs> All right, let's do another one. Do you see the number? Yeah, it's the number three. All right, this is a melon grab. Ready? some snowboards right here. Check it out. This snowboard is the color green and orange. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Put that right there. Check out this snowboard. It's the color red and blue. And I'm gonna ride. Put these foam pads right here. And this is where you come to practice. Yeah, what a cool room. Whoa! Whoa! All right. See, you can lean on your toe side, the edge of the snowboard, where your toes are, and then you can go on your heel side. Whoa! <laughs> where the edge of the snowboard, where your heels are. Then you can act like you're riding. Practice your balance and get on the edges of your snowboard. Whoa! Whoa! It's like I'm riding down the hill. Whoa! Whoa! All right. Whoa! What are these? Ooh! Wow! This is a yellow spooner. <laughs> and this is a green spooner. Check out what you do with these. You set them on the ground. Put one foot here. Another foot here. Whoa! And you can balance on all edges, see? Toe, heel, back foot, front foot. You can do some sweet spins. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a second. Do you hear that? Yeah! It's the Spooner song!
It's me, Flippy. And today, we get to go on this really big boat. Whoa, it's enormous. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, let's go. We made it onto the boat! <laughs> yeah! And this boat is awesome! Because it's not a regular boat, this is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran! <laughs> yeah! Look at all the seats! <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here! Yeah! This is a really giant net! Whoa! <laughs> But this net, this isn't for catching fish. No, this net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo, <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so silly, this brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good for cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean, yeah. Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Do you see it? Look at this! The ceiling is my favorite color orange! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vents. Look at it! Whoa! Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello! And then you take a clip. And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah. But look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa. <laughs> One hat and two hats. Whoa. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. Look, it's my friend, Captain Christian. And he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around, we make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool. And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. Okay, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. <laughs> yeah, and that makes the boat go forward. And that makes it go backwards. Okay, cool. <laughs> and this is a steering wheel. Very important part of the boat. And it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You want to try it? Yeah, I want to try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. <laughs> but look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car. Except this one's really big because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa. <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west in which direction we want to go. Whoa. That's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello, welcome aboard everyone, Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey, I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. <laughs> yeah, she's a real life marine biologist. Whoa. Uh, hi, Mackenzie. Hi. <laughs> Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? 
My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa! That sounds really, really important. Whew. Hey, while well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals, maybe Mackenzie can help us! <laughs> yeah! Okay, well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. Uh, what's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa! Can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm gonna be very gentle though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa, look at all his legs. <laughs> yeah. How many legs does he have? Whoa, hey, let's count the Horseshoe Crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten legs. Whoa. That's a lot of legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Mackenzie, look. It looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving. And our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them. But they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa! So if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa! <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm going to put you back in the water. Bye-bye! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! And Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey, hello. <laughs> Look, this is a starfish. It is. Whoa, look at how cool he is. His back is kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa, his belly is the color yellow. Oh, Mackenzie, woohoo, <laughs> he's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of those little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look. Whoa. <laughs> okay, horse, uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put him back in the tank now. Okay, bye-bye, starfish. Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here, and this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, what are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And, and what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve. Just like the clam. Whoa, and is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have Whoa. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve mollusk. <laughs> and this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm going to let them go back into the water. Whoa, Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy! It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, but he is. He's he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab. And the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusks are snails, but they will also make their own home. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> he's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself. But he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> uh, whoa, and it looks like he has a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm going to put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Whoa. <laughs> you mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa! Hey, Mackenzie, is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa! It's so big, just like the small mollusk, and it has one of these things, too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, 
but it's also called an operculum. And it's entirely made out of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa! Operculum. Hmm, that's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah! <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. It hmm. is dirty. Oh. I just found this one. This one's fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay. <gasps> and they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn, and it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean, and you are able to use them in the shower Ooh. or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins. But we're going to make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat because we always want to be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat! Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian! Hey, Blippi! Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah! I am so excited to see some real dolphins! <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and then we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> So Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! the boat all over the ocean, we finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Let's look! Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see the dolphin? like they're friends. Hello, dolphins. Whoa, <laughs> this is so cool. Whoa, look, they're so close. Hello, they're swimming under the boat. Look at what we found. Yeah, this is a seabird sanctuary and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island, is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched. Whoa! <laughs> that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. 
These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets. <laughs> and they like to nest together because mm, it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch. And you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here. There are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm. Let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah. And they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup. But the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah. And they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit. Woo. <laughs> well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, did you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah. He's sitting just under his mama. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. This bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs. And they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> And they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football, start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa. And come here. There's even co more cool birds. Yeah. See this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say. Anhinga. Well, look, a pelican! Hello, Mr. Pelican! <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So, when they go under water, they can catch the crabs and fish and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Nhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. Hey, 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 I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah, we saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah. And we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa, it was so much fun. <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing. <laughs> they were so cool. Whoa, look at this. It's time for a bubbles lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, whoa, <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own. We'll start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at it go. It's already looking like the ocean. <laughs> and we wanna make it look like the actual ocean. So we're gonna put a little bit of blue food coloring. Just one drop. One. And maybe we'll put a second drop. Ooh, that's just the right amount. 
And now, we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful, this is a little tricky. Woo, we did it! <laughs> Look, all the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. And now, it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh. <laughs> All kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. <laughs> we have whoa, an octopus. Hmm, <laughs> they're so silly looking. Yeah, we have some crabs. <laughs> crabs in. Hmm. Yeah, let's put in a, a sea turtle. Whoa. <laughs> So let's grab our animals, and we want to get some shells too. So just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa, look, this one's like a little spiral shell. Hmm, and I'll just grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, jellyfish, <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye! -bye. <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water, the only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think that needs a little more water. Let's see. Here we go. That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. The oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles. Because oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top. Almost to the top. <laughs> Whoa. We're almost done. This looks amazing. <laughs> Okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. Mm -mm. We want to keep it nice and clean. So, we're going to take some of this plumber's tape and I just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then, you can ask a grown-up to use scissors to make a little cut and now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're going to use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use a little tape. And yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water, get out. We don't want to mess. Okay. <laughs> then press the tape and you have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa. And my favorite part, shaking it up. Whoa. Look at it. It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean. <laughs> and the shells, they stay bottom, just like in real life. <laughs> this was so much fun. We made an ocean in the bottle, we saw dolphins in real life, we visited Bird Island, and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. E-L-I P-P-I! Flippy! Good job! Well, I'll see you soon! Bye-bye! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Hello, friends! It's me, Flippy! Today, we're visiting animals! Ready to meet some friends at the zoo? Come on! So much to learn about It'll make you wanna shout Flippy! 
Blippi, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Hey, check it out. This is the zoo information area. Yeah, it has a map of the zoo. Hmm, I wonder what animals we're gonna see today at the zoo. Oh, maybe we'll see, ooh, a grizzly bear. That would be so cool. Or, um, oh, they have gorillas here too? Oh, and they have so many different kinds of animals, like flamingos. Wow, oh, whoa, look at this tall animal. This is a giraffe. That is such a tall animal. Well, there's some animals for us to go learn about. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Yeah, this habitat looks like Alaska or the Pacific Northwest or Canada. <laughs> yeah, and I have some enrichment for this animal. But hey, let me have you guess what animal this habitat is for. Yeah, it's a bear. It's a real big bear. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. Whoa, that is so crazy. Hey, all right, I got permission that I can spread this food and enrichment out so then the bear can enjoy it. Let's go. Okay, first I have some coffee grounds. See this? Yeah, that's just normal coffee. So if you sprinkle some right here, yeah, maybe the bear will roll in it. The bear loves to roll in coffee. <laughs> okay, how about right here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and maybe, uh, maybe some right here. There we go. All right, let's uh, put this right here and we will definitely grab that before we leave. Okay, look at these. These are biscuits. Yeah, this grizzly bear loves these biscuits. So I'll just try and, uh, you know, put some around here. Ooh, there we go. All right, let me throw some to give it a nice pat. Okay, ooh, what is this? Pumpkin pie spice? Yum! <laughs> All right. Let's just sprinkle some of this right around here. All right, I still have some biscuits. Check this out. Yeah, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables in there. Yeah, I love fruits and vegetables. Yeah, like celery with some peanut butter and honey on top, yum. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, and we have some pears. And we have some carrots. Whoa! And some apples. Whoa! And some watermelon. Yeah, put some biscuits right here on this little island. <laughs> All right, perfect. Ooh, this food smells so good. All right, sprinkle some more pumpkin spice. All righty. And then I'm gonna make it all the way down there to put some more food down there. Wow, this bear is gonna have some Good eating around here. <laughs> hey, and now let me get my container and then we'll let the bear out so then he can have some yummy snacks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. There's Kima. Kima is a giant grizzly bear and he is loving those snacks we put out for him. Good job, let's check him out. Dave, and 
Dave is a giraffe. He is so tall. Here you go, Dave. I'm feeding Dave some romaine lettuce. Dave loves lettuce and romaine. Hey, how are you? Whoa, check this out. Dave is using his tongue, kind of like a hand, to grab his food to pull it up into his mouth. Wow, Dave is so cool. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. All right. Okay, see you later, Dave. I have more animals to go visit. Let's go. Gorilla Habitat. Whoa, look at her. She is so cute. Whoa. Yeah, they're throwing some enrichment out. So then the gorillas have some snacks. I love snacks. All these gorillas here, the group is actually called a troop. Whoa, group rhymes with troop. <laughs> wow, all of these gorillas are actually females, except for two. Did you see the big one? Yeah, with the silver back? Yeah, that gorilla is the head honcho of this troop, and that is a silver back. And all of these gorillas are western lowland gorillas. Whoa! And there's also a second male. It's the little baby! Oh, so cute! <laughs> all right, let's watch him eat some food. it out. Yeah, these are garden fruit chafers. It's a type of beetle. Do you see what kind of food they're eating? Whoa! Yeah, it looks like bananas. Yum! I like bananas too. Whoa! Look at where I'm at. I'm at Bug World Lab. Yeah, this is where all the bugs hang out and eat and sleep. Yeah, this is where they primarily live. Whoa! Looks like a lot of tarantulas up there. Whoa! And down here, a stick insect. A New Guinea stick insect. Whoa! That is so crazy! Wow, there are so many different types of bugs and insects back here. Whoa! Even more, oh, spiders. Ooh, and a venomous spider. We definitely don't want to open that one up. But hey, maybe if we go in the other room, they'll bring out some bugs for us to see up close and personal. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, this is a jungle nymph. Wow, what color is she? Yeah, yeah, she is the color green. I actually knew it was a she, because the males are brown and she is green. Yeah, do you see how she looks like a leaf? Yeah, she looks like a green leaf, but if it was a guy, he would look like a brown leaf. <laughs> wow, jungle nymphs are the heaviest insects in the world. Yeah, she's not even full grown yet and look how big she is. Whoa! Looks like she's just doing some stretches. <laughs> That's so silly. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa! Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this looks like a spider. Whoa, it is such a big spider. This is actually a Chilean rose hair tarantula. 
Whoa, hello. I used to be really afraid of spiders, but not anymore. This one's actually really nice. Yeah, if I let it crawl on me, it wouldn't even bite me. This one is very nice and it looks really hairy. Look at her. Oh, yeah, this is actually a female. Whoa, and she is about 17 years old. Wow, what a cute little insect. Well, not little. <laughs> so big. <laughs> Whoa, what are these? These are flamboyant flower beetles. Wow, and they're so shiny. Yeah, the two colors that I see on them are green and yellow. Oh, and their little horns, the males, yeah, they have horns. It looks like it's the color red, orangish. Whoa, they're just hanging out on this log. They love to eat fallen fruit. Yum, I love fruit too. <laughs> wow, check it out. I have some crustaceans on this piece of plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, these are perchula snails. Wow, they are so cute. Do you see how they have little hard shells? Yeah, that helps protect them. Wow, they're from the location of Tahiti. Wow, I love Tahiti. It's so sunny and beautiful there. <laughs> well, actually, there's none of these left in the wild. They're only in zoos, captivity. And we're actually trying to put them back out into their normal habitats. For now, we can just observe them and watch them eat their food. <laughs> Hello! Wasn't that fun learning about animals today at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington? Yeah, it sure was. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'm gonna go learn more about animals. Here 